Hello everyone and welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to install the Cypress using the ChatGPT step by step. So let's begin. GPT is very popular and trending these days and it's basically a chat, AI based chat board which helps you to answer anything you ask that particular chat board. So let's go to the browser here and search for chat GPT and this is basically the link open ai and you see that this is basically a chat gpt description and uh, in order to use this one just click on this one and here you need to go to the sign up and go to this research blog and about and here is a try button click on this one and you need to sign up here and once you are signed in you will get this particular URL. I'm already signed in, so that's why I'm getting this screen. Else, you will get a sign up page where you can sign up using your email. And once you are signed up successfully, then you will log in and you will get this screen. So, this is a very simple screen here. From here, you can create a new chart, you can change the mode, and you can ask anything from the chat GPT. The first thing you need to understand is that once you create a chat, it will reference that chat which means that if i ask about cypress so all answers will be related to the cypress so and the second thing is that we need to be very precise in asking the question to the chat gpt so because if i ask how to install a cypress it will give a very generic answer but if you want to install cypress using visual studio code then it will give some different answer and not self just answers it will also write a code for you and not only writing a code but it also explain how this code works so this is very powerful and it really helps you to work very efficiently and make you very very productive so here in this chart let me ask chat gpt i want to install cypress on windows 10 in new folder using npm and visual studio code and then press enter so it will think for a while and install telling you how you should proceed with this so he is actually providing you a step-by-step -step guide here so once it will complete we will following these steps and see how much this is accurate in order to work with the chat gpt so the first thing is that chat gpt is saying that open the command prompt in the windows and navigate to the directory where you want to create a new folder for your project okay then run the following command to make a directory we can directly create this one navigate to newly created folder okay then run npm init to create a new npm project follow the prompts to set the, this package file once the package json file is created run npm install cypress to install cypress as a dev dependency then open the visual studio code and open the folder my project which we created here and then in visual studio code run the command cypress open from the command palettes and this is already provided a shortcut to launch a test runner verify that cypress has been installed correctly by running the sample test in the test runner you can now write and run the test for web application using cypress in visual studio code so the first thing is that we need to create a folder so let me go here and let me create one folder on desktop and i'm naming it as install cypress and this is my folder and now let me go back to chat gpt so i have named it as install cypress now what i need to do is that run the command and we need to create this 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 and for and where we need to run this navigate to the newly created folder by this 
okay so let me go here and this is my folder here i have created this folder on desktop so desktop install cypress here i need to go so cmd no one promise here and this is desktop and install cypress so cd desktop and then cd install press and here what we need to do is that we need to run the command called npm in it so before running this one obviously npm should be installed right so this is a very common thing we need to know about the installations so let me copy or let me go here and simply write npm in it and it will start so it is asking about the package name so let me name it as chat gpt chat gpt underscore cypress sorry um, name can no longer contains the capital letters okay chat gpt underscore cypress version one description this installation is done using chat gpt index test command we don't need to provide this now we are not working the git repository as of now press enter no keywords author let me write chat gpt as an author license and then press is this okay yes and done so we are done with the init command and let let's go to the folder and see what's there so now we have a package dot json file here just like as uh, it is informed by the chat gpt now once the package dot json is created run the command npm install cypress in this particular folder so we're already in the folder so what we need to do is that npm install cypress and see it's installing the cypress here and very very accurate instructions and let's see what happens it's installing right now let's wait for a couple of minutes or maybe seconds it will be done soon and see what is the change in the folder first and after that we'll follow the next instruction and the next instruction is that open the visual studio code and open this folder which is created in the step two right so wait for some time here let's it complete the installation so you see that installation is completed in this time now it's asking us to open this project in visual studio code so let me go here and go to the file open folder and we need to open this particular folder from here which is basically install cypress open this folder and here we got node underscore modules and we have package.json and then what is cypress is using run the command cypress colon open from the command palette which is control plus shift plus p okay so control plus shift plus p and here what we need to run we need to run the this this command cypress open let me copy this one from here and again let me control plus shift plus p and this command and press enter but there's no command showing here so what i'll do is that let me open the terminal here and run npx cypress open instead of using this command but you see the the installation was successful it was not opening via the palette but from here it is opened successfully so if i go here and see that our cypress has been installed successfully however this particular command was not working 
this means that at least the chat gpt is 80 to 90 percent accurate in terms of providing you the details so let me type something here how to write a login test login automated test automated test now it will be referring to the cypress because the initial thing was related to the cypress this chat will follow this reference so let me start this one and see what happens so here are the steps to write a login automated cypress test again go here with cypress install in the project folder open the folder this integration folder where you will store the test in this folder create the login.spec.js file of your test import the ci object from the cypress module this 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 and this and you see the beauty of this chat gpt it start writing the code for you as well and this is very very good you can copy the code from here and obviously uh, this a this is an ai model and this will be improving time time but as of today i i believe that it is 80 to 90 percent accurate and it really helps you to be very quick in doing your tasks on the daily basis so if i ask uh, write test automated test for registration and let's see what happens here so here are the steps to write an automated test script for registration again and it is referencing us to open the visual code navigate to the project which happens install in the project folder create a new folder named already because when you install this folder will already be there in the new, new versions so again it is not 100 percent accurate but you will see it is 80 to 90 percent accurate what you are asking about and in, in generic whatever is the fields or inputs are available and it is writing a code for you and if i ask to write a test cases it will write the test cases and also it will write the code for this particular feature i asked for so once it was done let me give one more question to chat gpt and ask what it can do for us so i will ask to write test cases for or profile feature and see what happens so it will think for a while it's an ai model and it will give you an answer shortly in some cases it will be very prompt just like you see i just typed and it start writing but in some cases it will take some time to respond you back and there's a very common question coming up to me is that will chat gpt is the thing which will impact the manual testing or automation team jobs no basically it will help you to be more productive and this is the beauty of chat gpt so it is taking some time and meanwhile let me go here allow this one and let me see yes this is continue and to end testing component testing is the latest version and let me click on this one and see this one it's taking time so these are the files continue now here on this particular screen you can select the browser and then click on start and it will start the executing the this particular screen and from here you can actually go for the sample test and let me select this one okay got it if i click on this one it will start executing this particular test here and let me go back to chat gpt and see what chat gpt responded back so here let me see okay yes so this is here it answered and open the registry of code again blah 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 and then just start writing a code for you then replace existing dash username existing password your profile page.com with the actual values of your web application okay write additional test cases to verify the functionality of your profile feature for example this and this save the file and run by clicking all the run the specs 
you see this is a beauty of chat gpt i will be covering more tutorials on chat gpt and see how much it will help you while you're automating your web applications thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial